Okay, so today guys we're going to look at um, foliage, things like grass, um, trees and how you can just add those onto a landscape really quickly and easily um, and how you can just create your own um, assets to, uh, to create that with as well. So firstly you can see on the screen here I've got this little like patch of grass. Okay, and I've got open an Unreal Engine project with the landscape that we made recently. So you can see here as well, I've got these different bits of grass here and I've got a tree um, to use as for demonstration purposes. But first, I'll just go over to 3DS just to show you how I quickly made this little patch of grass. Um, and, you know, you can imagine with grass, you only need a small sort of patch and that's just going to be repeated a whole bunch of times. Um, so, well, you can see it's pretty very low poly and that's the theme we're sticking with. Uh, it's just a plain. Um, two polygons per bit of grass basically uh, and they've just made those really easily so what I did was get a plane something like that make sure that the segments are turned right down and we actually want uh, turn the segments to two so it's divided into four polygons um, and what I'm going to do is convert that to an editable poly and I'm going to grab the vertices at one end, all three of them. And I'm going to use this thing called Weld over here. So if I go to the settings with Weld and I turn up the threshold, eventually it will weld all of those three vertices into one. OK, and I tick that. And then we've got our sort of flat blade of grass. And I rotate that. So it's upright. There we are. And then again, go into the vertices, um, use kind of scale. All right. And then, as you can imagine, just sort of repositioning these. However, you want your blade of grass, basically. <laughs> it doesn't need to be overthought too much. OK. Just make sure it's not too like uniform. There we go. And I made a few variations of that. You can see in mine here. Um, I've not, as, uh, you know, I've done this very quickly. Uh, I'm sure you can do a bit better. But um, yeah, a few variations rotated and rescaled to create this kind of patch uh, of grass here. All right, that's it really. Um, I've exported that with the normal export settings, and I've imported that into my Unreal Engine project. As you can see here, there it is. OK, so how do I then add this to the ground? You know, I could drag in this tuft of grass like we do when we're adding in normal objects. Um, but I've just got this one patch here and I could keep re-adding this in. Um, but imagine how much of a pain that would be doing the whole thing. <laughs> so we don't want to do it in that way. The way we're going to do it is apply it to the, as much of the landscape as you want within a single click. So I'm going to come up to modes up here and you can see there's a mode called foliage. Turn that on, and we just need to drag in here the model that we want to use for the foliage, which is there. Um, and there's a few settings you can click here. Notice that as you now uh, hover over the landscape, you've got this sort of brush, uh, this blue dome here. Um, you've got the important things are going to be density. I'll leave it 100 for now. That's the default. Uh, you can scale. So if you end up adding your sort of grass, whatever it is in here, and the scale is way off, you can change the scale here. Um, and we've got another important thing is going to be aligned to normal. That'll be more obvious when we do the tree, what, what that does in a bit. And there's some other little settings here, but the other important one is the collision presets. Um, we're going to have grass is going to be no collision, isn't it? Because when you're walking through the grass, you don't want it to be you know, affected by collisions. Generally, with grass, you can just walk through it. So um, I haven't actually changed any settings there, and if I just click once, and boom, you can see how it's dispersed the grass amongst that one area. So I go to play. Sorry if that was loud. <laughs> um, and I can run over to this area. We can see we've got the patches of grass here. And you may like the scale of it. You might think the scale is off. You might want to increase it, decrease it, um, whatever it is that you need to do. Okay. I'm going to undo that. So you might think, actually, I want this to cover a larger surface area. 
So come up to here, where it says size, and you can increase that, and it will increase that brush size. Okay, if you want it to be more dense, so 200 is the default, what if I want it to be like 500? Okay, let's click that there, and then boom. How much, uh, sorry if that's loud again, <laughs> a patch of large, much larger, more dense patch of grass here that I can run through. Okay, so it's instantly done in a single click, really easily made, simple bit of grass. Um, but look over here where we've got this change in the landscape. The grass kind of like points off in a weird direction. Um, so I'll undo that. That is where, if I come down, this align to normal is. Align to normal will align any model that is used as foliage to the direction of the polygon it's being placed on. So if I turn that off, uh, zoom out a little bit and reapply that grass there. Um, I won't run around anymore. So you can see now it's not at a weird angle. It's all facing upwards, no matter which direction the polygons are facing. Okay. Um, one last thing I'll just quickly show you, I suppose, the scaling. So scale X, if I didn't like the scale, I might want to turn that down 0 0.5 maybe. Um, reapply that and you can see obviously the scale of the grass there is much smaller okay so it's going to be a case of playing around with these settings to whatever preference you've got okay if you lay this down and you notice that the models aren't on the right surface the reason that might be is when in 3ds max remember the position oops sorry of the um in a zero position. So the Z axis actually here is about halfway up my model. Really, the Z should be on the bottom there. Uh, to change that, you can go to Effect Pivot Only and you can move that pivot point down to zero. Okay, before you export. Um, and then yep, that will position itself on the surface a little bit, bit better if you get that problem. Okay, so yeah, real quick easy grass very easy indeed okay so what if i want trees well um i've got a tree here it's low poly hit i'm just going to come out of this motor back to the select mode it's a low poly tree which when i drag it in i do have that problem with this tree where the the sort of center is actually in the middle of the object rather than the bottom so i need to pull it up I have one a copy of a tree but what if i want to have you know like a forest of trees across here so i can go to modes foliage and i'm going to drag this tree in the foliage type there we are um, density is going to be much lower because i only you know want a, a, you know not so dense with the trees um, and align to normal i don't want on because I don't want the trees going off at funny angles. Scale is fine how it is, but the collisions, this time I do want collisions, so I'm going to put block all. Okay, and now let's add that in. Okay, there we are. Notice though, obviously, when I've added it, the trees are halfway through the ground <laughs> because my the center of my model wasn't correct originally. You may have that problem. Hopefully, if you've made it yourself, you won't have this problem though. Um, so what I'm going to need to do, hopefully this will be alright, if I come out of, yeah, what you may find, so if I come out of um, foliage mode and back to select mode, and to select my trees, to move them back up, it's selected all of the foliage that I've created. Okay. Um, so if I was to move that up, which is the gizmo's way over there, annoyingly, it's moving up the grass with the trees. Okay, so how do we get away from that problem? So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go back to foliage. And I'm going to do the trees first. Okay, density down to 10. Uh, align normal off. Collision block all. Add the trees in over here. Go 
back to select, lift these up, and because they've all positioned themselves based on the heights of the polygon they're against, you shouldn't have to move them individually, move them all together and they'll be the right height. Okay, I have my little forest of trees there. Okay, maybe then I want some grass, so I can come to foliage again, add in my grass, turn up the density to about 400. I shouldn't need to change anything else with the grass. And then add my grass. Okay, a couple of issues with some trees there, but we can sort that out uh, manually. Um, then I can play, and you can see the collisions here um, on the trees are there, the collisions though are not on the grass. Okay, and I have this. Yeah, some of the trees obviously is an issue there. Basically, <laughs> the, the trick is to sort your models out before you export them. Okay, this kind of shows the, the, what, the issues that can happen um, when it comes to doing the foliage and why it's so important to center uh, the gizmo um, to, and have it at the ground level uh, when you, before you export your models to avoid any of these issues okay but there's a real quick easy fast way to create grass um, trees if you're creating a large-scale environment um, with the foliage tool okay also you're going to have your own kind of tweaks and things with yours but eventually you should hopefully get a nice result okay